White and homeless? See, no, I need a little more explanation. I need a backstory on that because this shit don't even seem real. So, so you mean to tell me y'all had a, a, a 400 year head start here and you still end up dropping the ball? And now you asking me for money? Man, get the fuck. I know you, cause like being white and homeless at the same time is crazy. I can see if you black and homeless, okay? Cause there's a lot of shit that my I see this sentiment a lot on my posts, and here's the deal. Race baiters constantly assure us that white privilege doesn't mean your life hasn't been hard. It just means skin color isn't one of the reasons your life has been hard. But then there are clowns like this who clearly believe that if you're white, your life hasn't been or shouldn't have been hard. Um, so even the people who made up white privilege can't actually agree on what it is or what it looks like because it's almost like it was made up and doesn't exist. Secondly, this man is racist. If your thought process is you're poor, you're struggling, and you're black, well, obviously, talk about about the soft bigotry of low expectations. And if your reasoning is because of slavery, and again, there were black slaveholders and white slaves, but if your reasoning is because of slavery or anything else in the past, well, then I guess in your mind, black people are always going to struggle because we can't go back and change the past. Lastly, these people are cognizant enough to realize that you can be white and seriously struggling in America, and yet it doesn't dawn on them that, oh, maybe white privilege doesn't exist. No, instead, they blame white people because they had a 400-year head start. The idea that every white American has family that's been here since the beginning and has been accruing and passing on wealth is just as absurd as the idea that we owe black Americans today anything.